Meanwhile, back in the UK, trouble was brewing for Eddie and Frankie Fraser with rival firms. This resulted in a violent clash in the Mr. Smith's nightclub in Catford. The night of the 7th of March 1966 has now become part of gangland legend. They had kicked off there um, with two firms, and nobody knew exactly who it was at the time. And then it came up with the Richardsons were involved. I knew Charlie wasn't involved, because I knew Charlie was in South Africa. But it could, it could only be Eddie, and it could only be Frank. Frank Fraser. Frank Fraser. And I, I know Frank got shot in the leg, and I know Eddie got shot somewhere as well. But there was Hart who got shot, that was from the other firm. And it, this had been some rivalry that had been going on, something to do with protection. It was, it was a kind of a whole thing that had gone and finally kicked off in, in, in this Mr. Smith's. Frankie Fraser was at the centre of the action. Just so happened another little gang was in there and they were looking for trouble. And they sort of went for us. And naturally that was their mistake. We went for them then. And were you guilty? Well, I got caught. And who got killed there? Only another guy like myself. I, I was lucky, I, I got injured and won the fight. He was unlucky, he lost. How did he get killed? Was he shot? A bit of everything. Was it? Hammer, knife. Mm. Both Eddie Richardson and Frankie Fraser had been injured and rival Dickie Hart shot dead. Police suspected Frankie Fraser of pulling the trigger, but struggled to find the evidence to prove it. The next night, Richardson associate George Cornell was shot by Ronnie Cray in the Blind Beggar pub. The media suggested this was a revenge killing. And this is from Ronnie's lips to me. Ronnie was legless drunk. He goes to the, uh, this little spieler, card game place with a, a boyfriend. Little loudish or whatever, George Cornell kicks seven bells out of Ronnie. He gives Ronnie K a beating like you can't believe. In normal circumstances, you would think that the next day there'd be repercussions. But Reg said to Ronnie, hold up there, we've got interest here, we've got interest there. There'll be a time, there'll be a place. But as Ronnie told me, Right. When he heard that Cornell was at the beggar, it was nothing to do with this revenge Richardson thing. He just, it was his chance to kill him. 